Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> it's your girl, Jeannie, and you already know what it is. So let's just get into the energy. Virgos, sorry about my absence, all right? I've had some things going on um, in my life that has made me, you know, like, second guess myself, all right? I was making a bunch of videos, and I sounded crazy in these videos. Like, logically, my... Um, my Virgo brain messes with me, all right? I got that. We all know we're ruled by Mercury. We're ruled by our thought. We're ruled by our brain. Um, and a lot of stuff was getting to me because I didn't want to sound crazy. Like, honestly, I do not want to get on here and sound crazy. But I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care about sounding crazy. I don't care about who hears me, who thinks I'm crazy. None of that. Because I feel like my message is... <coughs> It means a whole lot more than to be seen as crazy. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. We have transformation going on right now, Virgo. There is the energy of a spiritual attack, all right? I don't know if you have been feeling this emotionally, energetically, physically, or just hearing about this, Virgo, but yes, Virgos are under a spiritual attack or Virgos is doing the spiritual attack. I think everybody could be under this spiritual attack, but it's showing up heavy for Virgos. I believe it is because someone, someone you were dealing with, someone you were giving your energy to was transforming your energy in order for their ascension, your ascension energy, your ancient wisdom energy, your spiritual energy. When you were dealing with this person, you were giving them your energy. And when you let them go, things Change. Things started to die around this person. This happened in divine timing that you were stripped from this person, that this person was stripped from your life because they were taking your energy. All right, this was an energy vampire. Whoever this was, Virgo, they thrived off your energy. They thrived off of your essence. They thrived off of an interaction with you, any interaction, whether that's talking, touching, intimacy, love, lover, whatever. Somebody was taking your energy. And as soon as you let them go, Two, two, two. that energy changed and everything started to die for them everything started to slowly go back into your favor and now this person is back wanting forgiveness okay so this is somebody that you have left behind and they want forgiveness virgo and as soon as you don't give this forgiveness to them all of this spiritual welfare is going to take off so that is your telltale clue number one who this is somebody's going to come back for a reconciliation and when you do not reconcile with them all of this bullshit is going to take off Okay, so do not be weakened by bullshit. Okay, do not reconcile with someone based off of chaos. There's someone here that wants you to view the chaos that's going around in your life as a sign that you should forgive them. And that is the opposite, Virgo. Somebody wants you to feel like you're getting bad karma for not forgiving them, for not reconciling with them. And that's bullshit, Virgo. This person just wants you to come back so they can steal your energy. Do not be tricked. Do not be swayed. Do not be pressured. All right? The only way this physical, this spiritual attack can hurt you physically, can tap into you physically, is if you are spiritually depleted. Because this person was stealing your spiritual energy. They had you in a lower vibration. They were taking this V away of your creativity, your sacral chakra, your love, your time. They were taking it from you. And this is what puts you in the vibration to be affected by a spiritual attack. Again, there's something here about <clears throat> seeing both sides and moving into balance, Virgo. It will be a struggle to get out of this energy, but all you have to do is remain truthful to yourself. Remain looking at the truth, and the truth is that you are good. You are protected. You are, okay? The only way this spiritual attack is affecting you is because your vibration is low enough to be interrupted by the frequencies via way of heartbreak, via way of energy sapping, via way of confusion. Do not be confused. Look at the truth. Do not give do not give spell work the power. Do not give people the power to make you feel like they have any control over your life or your mind. 
they can they can cause little minor chaos but if you know the truth that they cannot hurt you virgo they cannot hurt you this the whole point is your mindset the whole point is your foundation these people want you to uh, retaliate and get on the same negative spell work energy they are the return to cinders the the blah 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 they want you to mentally feed in to the paranoia they want you to mentally feed in to the scary stories. That's exactly why I didn't want to upload these videos. I didn't want to scare anybody. I want, didn't want anyone to believe that these people have any real sway over your life. They can only touch you when you are in high vibration or when you're in a low vibration, Virgo. As soon as you release and have a new beginning and get your energy levels back and gain a level of discernment, that is when your creativity will overflow. So the truth is everything is good, Virgo. You have to have a discernment. You have to use discernment when you when dealing with an energy of chaos. You can either succumb to the chaos or you can believe that everything will be okay and ride it through and maintain your strength. All right? Maintain your strength throughout. There is something about an emotional release. You need to release this person emotionally from your body, mind, and soul. All right? There's something here about um, also prayer warriors. Okay, asking for your energy to be renewed. This is giving repentance. This is getting just cleansing energy. Whatever you do, can do to cleanse, Virgo, your home, your body, your wound, your mind. Then it will speed up for you. Okay, we have slow and steady in the reverse. So it's all good. As soon as you realize who's doing it, and as soon as you stare at the truth, know the truth, and do not allow your mind to be controlled by anything. That good energy will come back to you quickly. It's all about honoring your energy, Virgo, and that's where the abundance comes in. There's something here about masculine and feminine energy. There's a masculine who is very upset, okay? There's a masculine who is very upset, and they could be using their psychic development, their psychic powers via way of sexual energy, okay? since you have retreated from them. This person was using your sexual energy to grow, to cause new things to their life. But this burdens you, Virgo, because they were taking your healing energy. This is all through perception, all the way that you look, look at this. You could have gave somebody an advice, Virgo. You could have talked to somebody. You could be giving them your energy, trying to talk to them every day, helping them. And whatever perspective you have about this situation, it is two people coming together in a sacred space where you are vulnerable, where anything is possible. So they could be taking your energy through just simply talking to you, um, exerting your energy, exercising, something where you are moving um, or giving your energy to them to help them in some type of way, all right? So this could be showing up as a masculine for most of you, Virgo, but this could also be a feminine who is attached to a masculine. All right, so take it as it resonates. <clears throat> we, have, we have Hall of Egress, Maze and Le 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 Labyrinth, okay? And then we have Cancer Energy. And we have the moon sitting right in my face. And then we have snakes on the plane. Yeah, there is some type of... Um, <clears throat> Confusion. They want your mind to be confused. They want you to believe that um, something negative is happening to you. When reality, when reality, this is just a maze. And how you win the maze is to know the truth that you are not in the maze, Virgo. It's like, it's like um, <clears throat> standing up over the hedge and looking out further. So gaining a different perspective, mindfulness. Do not allow your mind to be wrapped around in a maze to believe that you can be hurt by anybody, okay? That anybody has any control over you. This is what it is. Somebody wants control over your mind. They want you confused. They want you to feel like you need them. Yes, Virgo. You have this natural energy. You're like medicine to somebody, okay? They want you to stay in this state. They want you to sacrifice your healing energy for them. Okay, they want to capture you in this jail, sacrifice energy to take your healing energy, period. 
It's all about your essence. It's all about your breath. It's all about the energy. It's all about what you give out into other people and other things. Someone who wants to take your soul piece by piece through every interaction. <clears throat> but you have the upper hand, Virgo. You are very privileged to know God and have a higher foundation. See, somebody is in dark, low vibrational energy. And the only way they affected you was bringing you down to this hangman state. To this, to this dark negative energy with you. But you have the advantage. That's not where you're from, Virgo. That's not where you're rooted. We have... We have open door, attract temptation. Then we have childhood, baby, adolescent, and pregnant, and patient. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Full audience. These people are watching you. <clears throat> okay. Excuse my voice. I just switch up the time that I record because, you know, chaos. Um, but I refuse to believe that chaos can stop me from any mission that God has put me on. Amen. Um, but anyways, Virgo, <clears throat> somebody, which fucks up is some of you could be like alone with children. You could be like vulnerable, just trying to take care of you and your family. And there is some masculine who is low down dirty enough to try to hurt a woman taking care of children. The most precious thing to God. See, anyways, there's just weird shit happening, okay? There's weird shit happening. Somebody wants to keep you in place by tempting you by via way of tempting you, okay? You have opened a door to this person via way of temptation, sex, intimacy. Some way you have opened this door. They have been in your house. They have taken items from your house. They have been near your person, taking items from you personally. You have left an open door for this person to take from you. So as long as you deal with a person, Virgo, that you're dealing with currently or have been or recently released, as long as you dealt with them, you gave them an open door to take from you. Just like taking candy from a baby. But as you can see, <clears throat> Virgo, there is a dragon protecting this egg, all right? And there's a key here. This dragon is not going to release this egg without the key. So I feel like there's divine protection, okay? Going on in your life, you're still being protected. But the point is that you have opened yourself energetically up to being siphoned, taken from. There's other people who want to get you pregnant. If you are pregnant by this person, Lord have mercy. If you are pregnant by this person, take the steps down to get everything in order to protect yourself from this person, period. Whoever this is wants to get you pregnant already has gotten you pregnant or this is sacral intimacy energy. This person also wants to keep you trapped. What a baby is giving reproduction abuse. Okay, Re reproduction abuse could be just a metaphor for um, forcing you to struggle with something for a long period of time and then give birth to something, okay? Uh, which is the same thing as energy siphoning. They're taking your energy, making you suffer for a long period of time, and then they, they birth something based off of your energy. Take it as it resonates. I know I sound crazy. I do not fucking care. If you don't believe me, if your energy hasn't been interrupted, please kick off the video and, you know, move on with your energy. Move on with your life. Lucky you. There are some people who are out here being stalked and targeted just based off of your faith, based off of your energy, and based off of your unwillingness to be siphoned by monsters. Virgo, this is an unequal exchange. You're not gaining anything out of it. Look. Okay? These people are doing some type of magic, spiritual attack, evil lie, whatever you want to say. But you have everything you need in order to fight this chaos. All right? You could have been dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like you are unaware of this, Virgo. But karma's already stepped in. Somebody's being lured and tempted and being moved away from you by your ancestors. The happiness is about to return. 
you're about to realize and be open to who it is. It could be a Leo or somebody who has fire in their charts. This is the person you have an upper hand against. <clears throat> All right, there's something going on with the moon phases, Virgo. This person likes to play around with moon phases. They show up on moon phases. This is an enemy coming close to you, all right? They have to wait. This person has a waiting period between times that they can come and do this to you, whether that's 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. Um, moon phases, Virgo. Yeah, don't wait on shit. Don't wait on this person. We have faded event and unhappy home, okay? So it was a faded event for you to realize that something was unhealthy i'm telling you there's a higher knowing your spirit your body felt something felt that this person was unhealthy felt that you shouldn't wait on them felt that this person was a snake this was all faded for you to realize something and spirit wants you to stay hopeful at this time mm -hmm. someone wants to stay hopeful at this time because this could have taken place with a relationship a lover a friendship and Virgo, you're alone. A spinster. I know the word is spinster, okay? You're alone. You're a spinster, okay? And with this mental overload, this is what they're they're hoping. They're they're hoping that they can get you to stay hopeful about a relationship by making you mentally crazy, by making you horny, um, by making you scared, by making you feel. <clears throat> sad without them that's the energy this person could message you okay to try to keep you stuck i'm telling you this is a soul connection where somebody was siphoning your solar energy friend to the end this person could have definitely been a friend all they wanted was that goddess energy virgo they could have wanted to get you pregnant that is the true period all right, this person is going to come back saying that they want to right their wrongs. This could be happening in the present moment because you're getting new love. And this person is crazy. This person could be a Scorpio. Spirit wants you to fight. Don't lay down. This person wants to hurt you. Period. And this is what's going on. So stay grounded, Virgo. This often happens when we aren't grounded. Go outside, even though it's cold, go outside. Two to three minutes, stick your feet on the ground, your bare feet on the ground, Virgo. Ground yourself, okay? <clears throat> Give me your body of water. Cleanse yourself. Stay grounded, Virgo. Um, go celibate. Charge your sacral chakra. Pull that energy up past your sacral chakra, all the, way, all the way through your crown chakra. Oh, what should Virgo know? <clears throat> what should Virgo know? How does Virgo fight against this? Mm -hmm. Memories. You have memories of some type of ceremony that went on. Reunion. Think back of when... Um, when this person first came in your life and where you are, Virgo. Okay, but this is the energy of memories being pulled up about this person. They're making you think of memories. You're thinking of the good times. So somebody is trying to think you think of good times to prepare you for something. An illusion in the reverse. Pride, ego, loss. Somebody wants you to be an illusion that's not affecting you, to make you feel, make you lose your ego and your pride. Somebody feels like you don't want to be with them because of your ego and your pride. But in reality, it's because they were siphoning your fucking energy and giving you nothing in return. In reality, it's because they were a monster. So keep your pride, keep your ego, Virgo. Don't feel like you have lost anything, especially a friend, especially a lover. Fuck all that. Mm -hmm. We have blessings, justice, and schedule. Virgo. Virgo. <clears throat> Stress. Virgo. Spirit wants you to remember that your blessings are coming, that you're being prepared, that you're 
you're they're arranging your blessings in your justice right now and this is why they are stressed because they have to reach their goal of collaborating with you and having some type of interaction with you for your wealth to confine you before this blessing comes in or they can't get it natural disaster in the reverse and that's why they're mad because you're unwilling to just give your gift to give your gift that you prayed for to a friend who is separate from you who has promised third parties other things this is a, this is what fucking <clears throat> this is what kills me <clears throat> hold on Sorry about that. This is what kills me, Virgo. Um, Spirit is preparing you right now for all your blessings and all types of justice and karma that's coming right now. This is a part of the plan. You are a part, you're going a part of the schedule. But these people want to stress you out so much that you want to have that interaction, that you want to collaborate with them. They want to stress you out so then you will come back to collaborate with them and get that feel good energy from them. Whatever energy they were providing for you that made you feel good, whatever interaction that you two have, they want you to come back. Cause that's how they can find your wealth. That's how they can find this investment. This person feels like they have invested in you and that you are not allowed to go anywhere with your energy, Virgo. They have invested your energy and made promises to third parties that they can control you separately and take your gifts, but you're unwilling to do that. And this is why you, this is why this disaster is hitting, but you're, it's not a disaster for you, it's a disaster for them. So then they try to attack you, okay? I'm, I'm hoping that this still makes sense. There's a person in your energy. This, this person you were interacting with was taking your gifts, Virgo, your essence, your life without giving you anything in return. And when you became unwilling to do this with them, they got mad because you you weren't affected by a natural disaster that they were trying to get to hit you. If you kept giving your gift to this person, they were gonna take it all from you. You would have been depleted and poor without nothing, without any way to take care of your children or live out your life purpose. Somebody wanted you destitute like they are. They wanted to swap destinies. They wanted to have your life and you have theirs. And now they're mad because you escaped right before they can get, right before they can trap you, right before they can really manifest off of your energy. And this, this is crazy. This may be simply <clears throat> as simple as Something like this. It says, I don't walk away. I don't walk away to teach people a lesson. I walk away because I learned mine. I'd rather adjust my life to your absence than adjust my boundaries to accommodate your disrespect. I feel like it was just as simple as that, Virgo. There was a friendship, there was a lover, there was somebody in your life, a coworker, a job. There was something in your life that you were adjusting to. But instead, you are going. You chose to adjust your life to their absence instead of accepting their disrespect. And this person found that even more disrespectful. Since you didn't want to take their dis disrespect, Virgo, they found that to be even more disrespectful. So instead of just allowing you to leave, they're doing all this dumb shit. Trying to overload you and make you worry about not getting back with them. Someone wants you to believe that if you don't, that if you <clears throat> make things better with them, that your money will go up. They want to supernaturally bribe you into an illusion that's not real. Y'all, it's not real. Never will it be. This person can uh, play with energy when you're low vibrational, but they don't have any real control over anything when you know the truth. This is 
why there is a need for a strong foundation in God. See, a lot of people like to crack on religion, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to be religious to have a strong mental foundation set in godliness, set in goodness, Virgo, set in, in a way where you cannot be manipulated by darkness. So, you know, people may talk crap about you being, um, you reading the Bible or you loving God, but these are the same people who, Anyways, <clears throat> I rebuke it is what I'm trying to say. I rebuke it. What else can you tell, Virgo? <clears throat> we have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. There could be multiple people who want to reunion with you at this time. They're trying to manifest some type of happy energy conversation with you. They're trying to create an illusion to manifest like happy communication with you. I feel like since you released something, there has been a tower, and now somebody has been putting in work to, to, this person has been putting in work to something that you have been receiving to block some type of victory. Somebody wants you to stop receiving something, whether that's money, um, your gifts, they want you to stop receiving some type of intuition, they want you to stop working, blah, 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 too. Pinnacles. I feel like this person, there's a choice though with the two of wands. Four of wands and the two of pentacles. There's a choice here with the four of wands and the two of pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like this, this person has some type of vision of you juggling homes or them juggling homes. Or some stability. Somebody has a vision of stability that's created off of something. Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, it was the Ace of Wands, okay? And then I said the Ace of Pentacles. So this person wants to create a foundation based off of your energy, your spark of life, Virgo, your soul energy, the Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles. They are getting this from you. They are creating financial stability off of you. They're creating passion and desire and, and that spark of life. They're gaining your energy and using your energy from you. This could be via way of your knowledge, the things that you are telling them, or literally your life essence. Okay, the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. This is the truth, Virgo. This is the truth. There's an emperor who wants to date you. They want to come towards you. They want to hold on to you. Five of Pentacles. I feel like they want you to hold on to lack, which is them. They want you to, or they want to hold you back and put you in lack. Somebody wants to come towards you and date you just to hold you back. Somebody is watching you, watching you work. The Empress, watching you at work. This could be somebody who puts you in a third party situation. Whoever this person is feels like you're blocking them. And when you block them, yeah, the star came out in reverse. You're blocking them. You're blocking them from your light. You're shielding your light, Virgo, and this is putting them in despair. With the high priestess and the justice, somebody knows. They feel like the more you block them, the, know, the more you know. The seven of swords. Somebody's trying to put you in despair. They're trying to block your happiness, put you in despair. With your intuition and the justice and the seven of swords, somebody wants you to have despair because of your knowledge, because of your divine knowledge. Somebody wants to interrupt the balance. This is a strategy to fuck up the balance of your mind, your intuition, the things that you know to fuck with you. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I was having trouble putting out videos because I thought I sounded crazy in these videos. Because I was going to tell everybody that there's people trying to energetically fuck with your head. And a whole lot of people, I know, I know for a fact I'm going to sound crazy. But if you feel the fucking energy, you feel the energy. This is a spiritual attack from the motherfucking devil or a Capricorn that you were dealing with. With the Page of Cups and the Death card, this offer is over now they worry that they will be stuck in something <clears throat> now they worry that you have realized something and with the fool and the six of swords and the three of wands they they want to start over but they have to wait because you are thinking of something virgo 
They're, wait, they're, they're waiting right now thinking of you and you are thinking of them. But with the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands and the Lovers, this is how the, your fortune changes. You choosing to be single. You choosing emotional stability over anything else, over an illusion that, that left you in disappointment anyways from a player, from somebody who was in and out. See, that's the thing. It wasn't a hard choice. I'm going to end this video. I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to make it this long, y'all. Um, that's the thing. It wasn't even a hard choice. Somebody wanted you to stay in an illusion where you were disappointed and they were coming in and out of your life, taking your energy. They were causing you chaos to begin with. So, of course, you wanted to let go of this person. And now they feel like it's some type of faded event for you to choose yourself and your own emotional stability. But who else, who would choose an illusion of disappointment. This is what I'm confused about this person. They wanted to keep you trapped, but they didn't even make you happy. They wanted to keep you trapped, but they didn't even give you anything out of this. But with the Nine of Wands, they could have gave you some type of sexual energy. They could have done something that made you, I don't know. I don't know, Virgo. I don't know. This is, I feel like it's different from everybody. But the point is, I'm trying to say, is that there's a faded event where you stand up and you choose your own emotional stability over some type of disappointment. And this is what takes your power back, judgment. That's when things can be amended, your judgment, your money. Five of Swords is defeated when you walk away from some type of collaboration that was already a missed opportunity that you are already bored with, Virgo. As soon as that shit is over, Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands, the Six of Coins. As soon as that shit is over, this person wants to come in and defend receiving shit from you. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. So yeah, that's the energy with your Virgo know. <clears throat> with your Virgo know, you are good enough. Yeah, take time to breathe out. I'm telling you, meditate, get grounded, all that. You are good enough to fight any spell work sent your way, especially like low level warlocks by, by low level fucking moron men by low-level punk-ass men who attack women. These, these men must be fatherless. These men must be motherless. Who taught them? Who raised them to come against women? Anyways, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Whew. Take its blood. Take time to breathe out. I'm saying. I'm saying. Don't get upset. Don't question too hard. Don't get stuck in it. Chaos, just breathe out and know that you are good enough to fight any spell work. Know that you are good enough to go, to be alone, Virgo, to fight anything alone. Somebody wants you to feel like you need them. Look, it's all about the energy. The energy is gaining momentum. I'm telling you, meditate and contemplate. I'm telling you, you got away from this person just in the nick of time. The energy was starting to magnify it was gaining momentum they were going to take a large portion of your energy the next time you interacted with them spirit wants you to meditate and contemplate about a full look you don't even i'm telling you all you have to do is focus on the truth i said this earlier meditate and contemplate a win-win outcome is forecasted these people cannot win against you. Spell work cannot win against you. Low-level warlock bitches cannot win. Just hold your vision, Virgo. A Pisces, a Libra can be significant. Just hold your vision. Know the truth. Know that you're going to win. Know that this personal problem is going to be resolved. Cancer. It could be a cancer. Again, there's that Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with e any of these signs. The end of a touch cycle approaches. I'm telling you, this is going to end soon. All you have to do is show up, Virgo. Show up, stay strong. All right? Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. And then a new start is coming, a new moon, period. That's all you have to do is show up as a new healed version of you. 
Don't be tempted by low vibrations. Don't exert your energy for low vibrations, Virgo. Show up confident and know that the end of this cycle is coming. <clears throat> it's a time to give rather than to take. I'm telling you, these people were taken from you, Virgo, and they gave you nothing. They gave you nothing. Stop letting them take from you. Set up those boundaries and do not be frightened. Do not be tempted and do not be swayed to allow anybody back into your life you have already energetically closed the door to. Know your power, know your strength, and know who your enemies are. This is what I got here for you, Virgo. If you resonated with anything here, drop a comment down below. We'll start a little prayer segment. Stay strong. We'll group up. All right? Hit me up in my email. I will email you back. We can talk about it. Let's group up and fight the enemy together. Stay strong, Virgo. This is what I got here for you. And if you resonated with anything here, please give me that like, comment down below. Subscribe to your channel to see what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.